sub four hour marathon and we finished at a All right, so it is 5.26 actually. Um, we are running the BPM marathon at eight o'clock. So um, we're about three, two and a half hours until race day. So uh, feeling pretty good yesterday, um, Dangler. Put me through a pretty tough workout, so I'm throwing around weights. <laughs> you put so. yourself through that tough workout, yeah. man. <laughs> so I'm throwing around weights, so I was like, I gotta do that too. So um, going into this, I feel pretty good. I hit like 315 for four yesterday. Did like a nice and easy sh shoulder session. Wasn't really easy, but still pushed myself in the gym. And then today we have the marathon. The goal is to run a sub four hour marathon, which um, pace is gonna be around eight eight minutes so uh, my goal like the entire race is to start out slow and slowly increment and go faster and faster in every six miles so uh, I'm gonna drop the pace every six miles and then those last six it's really gonna suck so um, just gonna embrace it and you know you sign up for these events because it's difficult so we're gonna go catch the bus here soon um, yeah gonna head over to the HQ and get after it Here with Dangler, he's running the 13, the half marathon. First half marathon. How are you feeling? I'm not feeling too nervous. I'd say I'm more excited than nervous. Like I know it's gonna be hard because I haven't really trained at all for it. But you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good challenge. It's it's not as far as as Nathan's running, but um, and and he's running for like time and everything. I'm just gonna try and complete it. That's the goal. Yeah. Just try and complete it, man. Yeah. Take it slow. Take it easy. And, you know, it's it's like six and a half miles down, six and a half miles back. So I'm just worried about. Getting that six and a half down first, you know what I mean? Yeah, and for him, I think, like, personally, it's just as hard because he didn't train, you know? So, like, mile six is going to be, like, mile 20 for me. He's going to hit a wall. And the most he ever ran was two and a half miles. So, uh, that's why right now we're really focusing on getting in everything um, we have right here. We have our electrolytes, really loading up on the electrolytes um, just because it's filled with sodium and this is gonna help us, in my opinion, um, get through the race because at the end of the day, the whole point is to avoid cramping. Um, so right now we're just chilling in the BPN HQ and on the wall there it says, if it were easy, everyone would do it and that's kind of like the mentality you gotta have doing these things. You sign up for it to put yourself through it. So that's what we're gonna do. Only about two more hours, so. That's game time. I'm super nervous right now, but we just um, got to the ranch, and as you can see, it's pretty flat, so it's the perfect environment. Look at this sunrise, man. Yeah. I mean, this is exactly what I trained in, 30 degrees. I'm gonna keep this on to start the race, and then midway through the race, I'm gonna rip it off. Um, and then, um, yeah, just I'll have a cutoff under this, and we'll get after it. So, um, it's gonna be difficult, but I'm so excited to really push through the limits and, and just kill it. So, uh, let's do it. Let's hey, all, all the say. training's done, man. All the training's done. All the hard part's done. This is the fun part now, yeah, right? Yeah, the hay's in the barn, so it's just about executing now. So, um, 20 weeks has come down to one day. All these footsteps, all these miles, man, it's gonna pay off and we're gonna get after it. So, no better place to do it than the hill country of Texas. sub four hour marathon and we finished at a 321 pace so I'm super excited like I went out for the race and I was like pushing 630 pace seven flat for the first 19 miles and it's really windy out here the headwind coming back I was running like eight to nine minute miles and um, yeah finished 320 still really happy and everybody on the course the atmosphere was crazy and it was just really cool getting after it with everybody having like the same mindset and uh, passing everybody it was sick what's up Adam <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was, it was one to remember for sure. And I'm definitely not done. So, uh, 
we're gonna see what's next. We're gonna keep pushing the boundaries. Yeah, what, what's next, man? I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see, but 320, 321, happy with it. 320, let's celebrate, baby, let's go. Let's do. The beers, beers Co on me. Couple of beers, baby, let's go. <laughs> All right, so Ryan just finished up his half marathon. How'd first, you feel? First ever half marathon. Um, no training. Yeah, I, I think it was exactly how I expected it to be. Like, yeah. I knew it was gonna be hard. Yeah. Um, I wasn't pushing a crazy fast pace or anything. We just did, uh, I averaged like a 10.35 pace, finished in 2.18. Um, so I thought it was pretty good. Um, the first half of it I thought was pretty easy. And then like I, I knew like the ankles and the knees were going to start to feel it. So that was, I think that was the, the hardest part was just the ankles and the knees. Biceps were getting a little bit sore. But um, I'd say like the last like two, three miles was pretty tough. But um, yeah, I'm happy we completed it. You know what I mean? That's what I was... I was happy to do, so came out here, got the half marathon done, and uh, now it's yeah. time to celebrate. Felt, felt good to get it done, man. So, yeah, let's yeah. do it. Ready. Let's go. All right, so we just ordered Hop Dottie. We're gonna have a cheat meal after. We're gonna have more than one one cheat meal right now. You're doing barbecue tonight? Yeah, right? yeah, barbecue tonight <laughs> and and beers. But um, we already had some beers, as you guys saw. But we're finishing up a box of BPM Field Bars. We're just pounding them. I had two already. I think. This was second one. Second one. Um, about to have uh, a third, probably. Um, <laughs> and yeah, just like refueling. I burned six thousand calories, um, probably today. And uh, what do you got? I'm on 4,000 right now. 4,000, so um, yeah, dude, we've definitely got to eat more. Just refuel because, like I said, our glycogen's definitely depleted. Um, our bodies are definitely kind of shocked right now, so I think it's going to take a few days to get um, back to normal and, and feel normal. I have like, I have salt stains all over my like, like legs and shit. Like, I was kind of like, like, once the, the run was over, I was kind of, I finished the finish line and Nick you know, gave us our medals and gave him a hug. And I, I just remember being like black. I just like seeing nothing. And I think it was just because I was running for so long. My heart rate was just so high. And then when I stopped, it just like crashed. And I think it, I like, it was like tunnel vision, but uh, definitely was in the pain cave for sure. Um, and kind of like a little race recap, um, started the race at like 6.30 pace um, after miles, I think mile six, I... Were you intending on like trying to hold a 6.30 the whole time? No, or I just felt really good. You just like, is that is that a strategy to like come out of the gate like faster? So, so people say you should start out slow um, and then work your way up. <laughs> you didn't start out slow. I didn't start out, I was the opposite. Because I, right before the race, I talked to this kid. He was like, um, he was really good. He was shooting for like 250. And uh, I was like, well, how are you going to run it? And he was like, oh, I'm going to start out. Um, and just try and hold the pace that I start out with. So I was like, you know, this guy's running fast. I'm going to try it. So I did, and it worked out for me because, um, like I said, I, I probably kept a seven flat, maybe 650 flat for about 10 mi or 20 miles. And then mile 20, the back half of the marathon was windy and hilly. We probably had like, what, 15 mile per hour winds? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, it was hilly, and uh, my miles after that were like nine flat. I was hitting a wall um, throughout the whole course, man. I probably had like 20 goose, maybe not 20, 15. <laughs> I was pounding goose, G1M, um, and I was just sweating out so much salt. And towards the end of the day, it started, the race started at 30 degrees, and then it worked its way up to about um, 51. So it definitely got hotter. My body started to overheat. Definitely way nicer at the end, though. I mean, yeah. Yeah, for sure. And uh, yeah, it's just, it, it was pretty good. And uh, for everybody thinking about like doing a marathon, definitely do it. Even a half, he did a half with no training. And you know, you find out things about yourself. Like I'm sure he wanted to give up at some point, probably. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, it, it wasn't easy. Yeah. You know I mean, I, I didn't expect it to be easy. But yeah. like, um, there's a certain point where you just kind of have to like, you have to keep pushing. Yeah. You know what I mean, like you, you set you set yourself on that goal and you're like, well, it's getting hard, but look, I got to finish this no yeah. matter what, you know what I mean? So. Exactly. So like, if you want to like figure out what you're made of or what your boundaries are and push past those, sign up for an, an endurance event because there's no substitute for, you know, putting miles on your feet. You know, you just got to do it and go through the process and it's extremely humbling for sure. So 
Now we just gotta see what's next. Oh wow. Oh. <laughs> that was good. It was probably better in, than uh, in and out Oh yeah. Probably. Probably. It, be, it better be done in and out $48. Mm -hmm. Alright, so Kane hooked us up in BPM with this outfit. Um, these shoes are amazing. I don't know like what their plan is, if they're going to make these, like BPM's going to collab or anything, but I absolutely love these shoes. You like them too, right? Oh yeah, no, they're comfy, man. Yeah. They're made out of sugar cane and that they have like supposedly when you wear them they're supposed to like target the weak parts on your feet um, which is pretty cool so definitely feel like these are helping me recover honestly but I want to show you guys like the BPN HQ um, right here we're in like the lifting session or part so this is Nick's Iron Man bike and he's got like his helmet, his bottle, super cool we got the pictures of his whole journey and everything um, down here Ryan and I just signed the wall I got that signature, man. Look at that. It's pretty, it's pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's <laughs> sick. Um, there's, there's and then there. there's mine, corn fed. Um, you know, you know how we are. And then, uh, yeah, there's some rooms that I've actually not been in yet. The podcast room is here. Uh, this is pretty neat. If it's not locked, check that out. It's sick. It's got a nice room. Yeah. Me and Ryan were saying we got to get on a podcast. That'd be sick. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah, the bathrooms, and then over here he has like his cardio equipment, stationary trainer. I'm assuming he clips in for his Iron Man. He's got the clip pedals on it. Over here he's got, I think this is his other just like training bike. Um, and then we got sauna. Ryan and I are gonna hit this up for recovery. And then in here, um, this is like the BPN gym. Preston's getting after it. Yeah, we're vlogging. Dude, it's up. What's up? Food Yeah. It's good. Hot dog. Dude, I haven't had hot dotty forever. We had truffle fries. What was it? Truffle, truffle fries, yeah. yeah. I had the same meal when I came down here for the first time with you guys. I miss the, uh, the milkshakes are so good. Though. Oh, the milkshake. You guys we should have got a milkshake. Why don't we get a milkshake? Yeah. Our bill was $48. That's the only thing I've been craving so much. Let's, let's go to in and out and get a milkshake. Yeah. Our, our, our bill was $48. So Dude, it's expensive there, too. Uh, yeah. Well, the delivery was like... Ten dollars and then tip and then all that. it just yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, literally yeah. Have you had in and out there yet? Like no, no I had in California like I had a lettuce burger. Oh, okay. yeah. No, not a lettuce burger. Yeah, that's I had. No. <laughs> I had a lettuce burger. Come on. Just because we had like a workout before, and I was like, oh, I'm not gonna eat like a lot. Yeah. It was but, is it good? I heard it's like. I good. mean, some people like aren't huge fans of it, but that's like my comfort. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Check out my feet. Was that hurting you? I didn't even feel it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even feel it. Look at that purple. No pain, no gain. Now, that's not even bad compared to Nick's like uh, ultra feet. Yeah, I don't know how you run these Colorado. One, lost that one. And these, this is ready to pop. That's a big blood blister right there. <laughs> This, this nail is shot. It's I could like a that blueberry, off. bro. Yeah. Dude, look at the size of that thing. Looks like a tumor. Looks like a tumor on my <laughs> Yeah, Dangler needs to take off his socks. I'm Dude, mine are, mine are fine, I'm telling you, man. Nah, but, no way. They got it. I, I was not running a uh, seven minute pace, bro. <laughs> All right, what's up guys? So wrapping up the vlog here, um, for everybody that came up to me and talked to me after the race, I appreciate you guys. It was nice meeting everybody with like the same mentality. Um, right now we are outside of BPN HQ, just took the BPN mobile. Nick was uh, nice enough and the team to let us take it out. So went out, got some food, enjoyed some time um, this weekend here down at Texas. Like I said, thank you for everybody for the support. Couldn't have done it without you guys hearing like the constant messages and, and also so the positivity of you know running and keeping like that strong mindset has really helped me um, progress throughout this entire prep and I'm very glad with three hours and 20 minutes I couldn't have done it without you guys like I said um, it's been amazing and I can't thank you guys enough for the support like without you guys I would not be in the position I am today and um, this video is to prove to you guys that you guys can literally do anything you put your mind to so with that being said thank you for watching Stay corn fed and I'll see you later, Texas.